Hello and I'm talking to you music lovers out there. Today I want to talk about my top three natties to buy for audio, music and all that kind of stuff at the end of 2018. <laughs> Okay, so you love music. Maybe you want to listen to your MP4 music that's real dense media anywhere in your home. Perhaps you want to listen to an audiobook or a podcast and basically want an automated system that downloads all of that information for you for you to access on your devices. One way or another, you are looking for a network attached storage device for music. You know, you might want to watch some movies, you might want to back up some emails, but ultimately it's all about the music for you. These are my top three nazis for music lovers out there now. First and foremost, these three NASs, not all of them were released this year. Some of them were released last year. This isn't about NASs that were released this year. This is about buying the best NAS at the end of 2018 right now. And in some cases, older NASs are better, better than some of the new stuff that's put out there. Second thing, just because something is my first place does not make it yours. The order of which these are are all completely up to you. I have picked first, second, third, but for you, you might prioritise a feature in one of the others that puts it ahead of the competition. So don't just assume that because I say something's first, it means it's the best one of the three for you. Double check in advance and make sure that it's got the features that support your audio environment. Now, straight away, pretty much any NAS can be used for music. It's one of the easiest features of a NAS once you break it down to its most simple level. Thanks to things like DLNA, Digital Living Network Alliance, it means that if, as long as it's certified to DLNA, it should play on the majority of devices. But with some music types and audio files being denser than others, and some devices needing the NAS to work extra hard to play back files with things like transcoding and widespread server spreading, that means that some NASs are better suited to audio than others. And so rather than just taking potluck and buying one of the literal thousands of NASs you can these days, I've narrowed it down to the top three for different audio lovers. So make sure you listen to the difference between them, not just go for when I say in the following, and in first place, QNAP TS453B. This NAS was released last uh, summer last year and it still continues to be one of the best um, NASs out there for music. And I mean in terms of where it sits in a price scale, what you get for your money and just generally the amount of abilities this thing has to further improve your access to music. First and foremost, this device arrived with a great support for um, all audio files. There's lots of updates inside, codex packages and DLNA media server packages, both first party from QNAP and third party for things like Twonky, MB, Plex, Kodi, that sort of thing, are all possible on this NAS. But moreover, it's the way you can interact with it. Because this four bay arrives, uh, it's got four bays of storage which can be put into a RAID environment. So again, you can protect yourself for if one of your drives dies, you don't lose all your data. But moreover, it's got an SD card slot on the front. So if you've got um, a player that has an SD card slot, you can load music from the NAS onto an SD card and put it into your portable device if you want more direct access to it. It's got multiple USB ports on the device for connecting external music players, as well as a DAS port on the front that lets you communicate with this NAS directly. It has got an HDMI port on the rear that lets you connect via an SDIF or SPDIF to uh, this NAS, an existing audio device that utilizes audio over HDMI, as well as TV devices via HDMI. It's got a remote control that's far more advanced than any of the remote controls that came before it, which lets you control the media on it. It's got great phono sockets on the rear for stereo output and microphones in and out, as well as a mini speaker that you can play music from, but it's a bit crap. Um, and just overall, the CPU being an Intel J3455 and 4 gig of DDR4 memory, uh, DDR3 memory that can be upgraded to 8, means that things are going to be moving lovely and quick through this device. Plus, the chassis itself is plastic in design with the metal on the inside with great ventilation, passive and active cooling, meaning the noise is going to be quite low too, depending on the media you install inside. And the throughput on things like Sonos sound systems, Bose sound systems, and how it interacts with other DLNA devices is brilliant. And given that the price point on this device is £480, it does seem a little high for uh, a 4 bay NAS. But for that extra 50 to 100 quid you'd spend on this compared with other devices, 
you get all of these ports and connections. Do look out for the third place NAS, by the way, <clears throat> and see what I mean about what you get for your money. Um, lastly, this device arrives with an HDMI port on the um, a PCIe slot on it, on the rear. And what that means is you can introduce other PCIe upgrade cards, and that includes sound cards too, that are supported by QNAP, which further supports what this device can do and if you are running complex uh, multimedia service or very bespoke audio service rune uh, itunes that sort of thing this device can handle it like a dream finally with this device you can install container station and linux station which means if you've got a very bespoke and very individual um, media setup something on a server you've got on an old pc that spreads all that media around your house you can clone that on your PC or server and then carry it over and deploy it on the NAS. So again, it's very adaptable, this device. Very, very good indeed. And it's one of the main reasons for me that the 453B still continues to be the best NAS for music lovers out there. If you loved the sound of the TQNAP TS453B and loved those features, but you want real future-proofing and carefree environmental access to this device over your network environment, as well as many, many users accessing it, this is the one for you, the TVS682. Now, this device gives you everything that the previous unit did. Oh, it is so much better, so much more. Yes, it's over twice the price of the previous unit. So what on earth would make you want to spend twice that sum of money for the sake of your audio server? Let me explain. First and foremost, the CPU is an i3. It is a much, much more capable CPU, much more efficient and will file handle and multi-file handle so much better than the TS453B. On top of that, the audio sockets on the rear are far, far better. The big old fat main uh, phono sockets there into the rear for a much more extensive audio system. Plus, the device arrives with support of karaoke systems as well. And it's got its own karaoke software built into it if you want to do some of that. On top of that, the HDMI on the rear on the previous units, 1.4B. This is HDMI 2.0. That's true 4K 60 hertz support. And it has three HDMI ports there on the rear for multiple HDMI support across different devices. On top of that, it is a four bay NAS as well for hard drives, but it also has SSD bays internally in M2 form and externally in 2.5 inch, which means caching is enabled. And if you're running huge audio files, those audio files where one file is bigger than a gig, this is the one for you, because it will be able to play and transcode these files a great deal better onto popular common devices that are network enabled and internet enabled considerably better than a 453B. Once again, this is about future proofing. This, the a previous device, the 453B, had a bunch of features that are really, really cool at that price threshold. But three to five years down the line, they might show age. In this, they will not. Now, there's two more things about this device that I really wanted to highlight to you. First and foremost, this device gives you the ability to run containers and virtual machines in a way that the other one couldn't. Thanks to that CPU and the hardware on this, the 682, you can run far more inventive and far um, more elaborate virtual environments. Why should you care as a music lover? Well, that is because of things like the Amazon Echo and Google Home. These two devices, which are becoming incredibly popular and common in people's homes, ask you to only play music from the cloud and their clouds. So Amazon Home will only let you utilize, um, no, sorry, Google Home will only let you utilize music in their cloud servers. Amazon Alexa or Amazon Echo, as they call, also call it, will only let you play music from the Amazon Unlimited platform. What if you want to play your music, the music that you've built up decades collecting? You need a NAS server to do it. Now, we'll talk about Synology in a bit and what makes them unique in this field, but with regards to this QNAP, with this QNAP, you can create a virtual environment and then install an app, an app for these devices called My Media. It's a skill. And with that, you are able to create a DLNA accessible repository of all of your music that Google Home and Amazon Alexa can pick up and access your music via voice control. So you can say, um, Alexa, play me, da da da, and it will do it on this high spec server. And that, along with all the direct access connectivity we talked about before, and the just insane hardware option that this thing promotes, as well as huge support, again, Sonos, Bose, 
Um, and all of those sound systems, Rune, and a huge array of mobile applications for media, both first and third party, is why the TVS682 is my second place best NAS for music at the end of 2018. In last place, I'm going to completely mix things up. When I say last place, we are talking third place out of thousands of NASs, so there's no shame in coming third. But this NAS is the Synology DS418. It's very affordable. It's a lovely affordable 4-bay NAS. Again, it's available now for about 300 quid, which is a snip compared to some of the NAS we've talked about today. And this also is a 4-bay RAID-enabled NAS. So why should this NAS, at a fraction of the price of the others, be so damn good for an audio NAS? Well, put simply, for what you are paying, you get an incredible array of applications. Now this NAS here could technically be any Synology NAS, because what this offers, most Synology NASs can give you. But what this does is give you a great level of access to all of those functions and features at just 300 quid. There are two bays and one bays underneath it that give you less of an access to those features, slower access to those features, or not such a comprehensive level of support of those features, but it still has them. What this gives you at 300 nicker is a RAID 5 enabled storage array with access to Synology's insane list of applications that we'll go through in a second, and giving you access to a great CPU, a quad core, real tech based CPU, that ARM file management uh, CPU there, and again, lovely 64-bit architecture on that, 2 gig of DDR4 memory to keep things moving fluidly, and once again, support of um, Bose, Sonos, and those other sound systems. But And that CPU as well, it should be mentioned, is great for large-scale thumbnail generation, which you always get um, with music devices uh, and music files, and you've got all those albums and all the cover details. On top of that, it supports a multitude of different devices over DLNA, as well as the internet and the network, thanks to the mobile applications from Synology, which although not as diverse as QNAPs, are much more targeted. But, and also, I should mention, all three of the NADs we talked about today support pretty much any file format you're looking for, even OBB and stuff like that, the really complex ones. But what makes this in third place, and indeed most Synology uh, devices, although nowhere near as good a price point and balanced affordable level as the DS418, is once again coming back to those home devices. Google Home and Amazon Alexa, as well as those, we can talk about Amazon Fire Stick as well. If you've got these devices for enjoying your data and your multimedia in your home, and specifically your music, what will make this appeal to you is Synology to date, at the time of recording this video, are the only NAS brand out there that have an Amazon skill available for your smart home without you having to create a virtual machine and having to use third party apps. They're the only ones with an app for Amazon Fire Stick as well as apps for some of the Google devices as well. And that investment in these apps is what keeps things moving forward. Synology is a brand that invests heavily in software more than hardware. That's why you'll always look at the comparisons that I do on these channels and go, oh, you're comparing these two NASs. Well, the Synology one seems more expensive even though it's got crap of hardware. You're looking at it with a PC mentality. You can't look at NAS with a PC mentality. You can't judge a car with the standards of a van and you can't judge a van by the standards of a car. It's about the utility of the device and the software on a Synology NAS and in particular for music lovers in the DS418 is unbeatable at that price threshold. And that's why I said earlier on about first, second, third place. This isn't about one of these three being better than the other two. It's about what you need it for. So in the case of the 453B, that is connectivity beyond connectivity. It covers so many bases at that affordable level of 480 quid. The TVS682 is about those same facilities, but future-proofing and giving you more power under the bonnet to move more and more files forward to your many, many, many connected users or your more bespoke and more individual setup. And finally, the Synology DS418 is about ease and affordability and giving you the maximum amount of software set up and forget support at just £300. Thank you so much for watching. Buy your NAS from the guys at Span.com. If you've enjoyed it, click like and subscribe to support the channel. And do remember to visit me at NASCompares.com to learn more about what's new and wonderful in the world of NAS. Thank you so much for watching. Cheerio.